Hello and welcome. I am Sachin Brahme with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to use the scheduler in Avaya Proactive Contact. The scheduler in editor application provides you a way to schedule activities in the Avaya Proactive Contact. These can be daily activities like starting a job, running a record selection, scheduling the batch campaign update process for a calling list, etc. There are certain activities which you cannot schedule directly in the active mode of the scheduler because there is a risk of them colliding with the system operations and bringing the services down. And hence they are not available in the list of the activities that you can schedule in the active mode. Instead, you have to save them in pending mode first and then after a midnight maintenance cycle, they become active. These are activities like the PDS, MTS or DB maintenance cycles system reboot or system backup activities, etc. Now let's look at how we create a scheduler entry. So I log into the editor application and as you can see, I'm in the schedule section. I have a calendar like window open here where I can schedule my activities. So to create a new activity, either I click on this new button at the top left or do a right click and click new. It opens up the new schedule activity wizard. I click on next. Then it asks you to choose the activity type you want to schedule. You can see the available activities here are backup a calling list for late list. That is creating a copy of the calling list to list.old. This is not for backing up on a tape or a DVD. This is for situations where you are going to download a calling list more than one time on the same day and you would want the calling list information to be retained by the late list late mark. This is required in those kind of scenarios. For normal scenarios where you would do a single download in a day on a calling list, you will not need this. Then there is campaign update for running a batch campaign update process on a calling list. And this mostly is used on a recurring pattern throughout the day where you receive batch of customer account numbers through the day from a third party host and you would schedule the batch campaign update to pick those account numbers, find them in your calling list and mark them uncallable so that they are not called out from the system. Then there is an option for custom script. If there is a custom script created for your system, you can schedule it from here. Then there is file transfer that is for downloading calling list or uploading the calling data. And lastly, there is running a job or running a call selection. You will notice that the activities like the PDS, MTS or DB maintenance or system reboot, etc. are not showing up here in the list. And that is because we are in the active version of the scheduler. And as we discussed earlier, we cannot save these kind of activities in the active version of the scheduler. We will look at how we create a pending version in a while. So let's first schedule a startup of a job. So I select the run a job option, give a small description here, which is optional and then pick your job that you want to start from the list. And maybe I'll add this name of the job to the description and then click on next. On the next page, it will ask you for the date and time to schedule the activity and also the recurrence pattern. If you wanted to start the job only once on a specific date, you would use this drop down here to choose the date and you can choose the time also. But since I want this job to be started every day, I'll choose daily here. And you'll see that the date section has disappeared now. I get options for every day, every weekday or every weekend day. I keep it as every day. I choose the job startup time maybe as 10 a.m. Now this job will be started only once in a day. So I have kept the hourly repetition checkbox unchecked here. Then you click next and on the next screen it will give you a brief summary of what you created and then you can click finish. And you'll see the activity scheduled on your calendar there. Let's create another one here. So I do a right click and click new, click next and this time I select a file transfer to download a calling list. Let's say an infinite download for list 10. So I select app underscore list 10 here, type in a brief description. Then I go to the next page. 
choose this activity as daily. And since this is an infinite download, I want there to be an hourly repetition. So I check this checkbox, choose the start time as 11 a.m. Since my infinity 10 was starting at 10 a.m. So I want the infinite downloads to start an hour later from that time. I want this repetition to happen at every 30 minutes and end time as maybe 10.30 p.m. Once done, click on next and then click finish. And you'll see the activity appearing on your calendar. Once you have scheduled all the activities that you wanted to, click on the save button at the top to save the changes. These changes are real time so they take effect in the system's scheduler immediately. And that is because we made the changes in the active version and we are saving it in the active version itself. Now let us see how you can schedule the other activities like the PDS, MTS or DB maintenance cycles or the system reboot etc. For that you first need to open the pending version of the scheduler. If there is no pending version available you need to create a schedule and save it in pending mode. For example, I am in the active version of the scheduler and I first create a schedule to run a record selection. I give a brief description. I'll choose a selection file and a list name. Click next. I want it to be a daily activity. I set the time here and click finish. And then I go to the file menu and click on save as and save it in pending mode. And you will see that the pending version of the scheduler is appearing on the screen now. So now here if I do a right click and click new, click next. Under the list of the available activities, I'll see the others also. That is the PDS, MTS or DB maintenance cycles, system restart, etc. That is the ones which were not visible when we were creating activity in the active mode. So in short, these will be visible only if you are creating a schedule in the pending mode. If there is a pending mode that already exists, you can open it and then try to create your schedule here. And if no pending version exists, then you must schedule a normal activity and save it in pending mode. And then when you try to create another one in pending mode, you'll see these visible here. So for this demo, let's schedule a proactive contact maintenance. That is a PDF maintenance. I select that, give a brief description. Click next. If you want this to be a daily activity, choose daily here and simply provide a time. Or if you want to schedule a one-time activity, you can choose a date and time for yourself. And then you click next and then finish as we saw earlier. Please note that although they don't show up here in the scheduler, the PDS, MTS and DB maintenance cycles and the system reboot are by default put in the scheduler of the system when the system is installed. The maintenance happens every night and the reboot happens every weekend by default. So unless there is a specific need to schedule these, it is recommended not to create a schedule for them from here as they are already working in the system. So in this video we saw how you can schedule the activities in Avap Proactive Contact. With that we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at avaya.com or at avaya mentor on Twitter. For more details and other technical information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.